So it's um, 6.45 in the morning, and uh, somehow I've been doing this twice this week, but uh, now we're on our way to Mopar's 5150 uh, outside of Atlanta, Georgia, in a town called Cleveland, Georgia. And uh, they have a liquidation sale going on, like 70 something Mopars. Uh, they've got to move their location, so they're trying to sell as much as they can. And I'm gonna go try to steal as much as I can. But one thing that uh, you may or may not know, uh, whenever I'm leaving home uh, on an airplane trip, I always have uh, my ritual beer. Uh, so uh, I'm taking that in right now with a little bit of coffee. Mopars 5150, here we come. Here in the ATL, um, our host forgot to pick us up, so we had to uh, grab this nice young lady named Janika to take us 72 miles to Cleveland, Georgia. Huh? Eighty-five miles. Well, can you do that in an hour? Oh, if you don't mind. <laughs> All right, well, let's just get there safe while I eat my. My only breakfast of the day. We're going to see our boys at Mopar's 5150. We bought some cars from them, sold them some cars. And uh, today uh, they are having to move from their current location where they had about 70 cars stashed away. And uh, they're having a big sale. I'm trying to get there. They just started this this week. So I'm trying to get there first, pick out some cool stuff, maybe get a good deal or two. And then because of the way the planes fly, we're not able to get home tonight. So we're going to uh, be staying in uh, some kind of crazy little uh, vacation German town thing with beers and sauerkrauts and sausages and whatever. It's pretty amazing. It's called Helen, Georgia. Uh, I looked at it on the old uh, interwebs and it pretty much looked like a Christmas uh, postcard for some reason. It was kind of weird. So we're gonna stay there. I might even get some Lederhosen. Old famous Mopars 5150. They have lost their lease. Uh, they're making a move. Uh, they're going to put some of the stuff in Texas and some in California. But the most stuff that they don't have to move is going to save money. So I'm here to try to steal some things. And I do mean steal. What's up? Hello. What's up, dude? What's going on, man? Good, Good to see you, you again. Good right on. Again. Bit away sure. from home. Guys, how's yeah. everybody doing? Good. Good. What's up? Good. The whole Mopar's 5150 family is in effect. Yep, everybody. The whole... Don't worry. Don't, don't worry. I'll get my own beer. I'm yeah, good. We got them for you. Okay. Well, you did half the work, but you could have offered it to me. <laughs> they almost drank it all. Look at them. I know, right? They've been waiting here for you. Dude, this is, whoa. Is that a Ferrari in the ceiling with a bear in it? Yeah. Uh, parts of one. You don't see that every day. Ferrari in the ceiling on a folded chair with a bear. I don't even know if I can say that three times fast. But uh, super cool, man. So you awesome. guys lost the lease and got to move. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, it's kind of overdue, really. We need to move back to Texas and California. The, the you know, what we were doing here is, is, is needs to be over. So we're fine with it. We just need to, we had 110 cars and now we're down to about 60-ish. Well, you're not exactly uh, on the beaten path here. You got a lot of stuff back here, and this is just inside. Yeah, there's a few cars out back that need a lot of love, but that's what we do here at Mopars 5150. We save Mopars, um, B bodies and E bodies for the most part. Um, we take the worst of the worst, we send it to the blaster, and what little bits left, we use AMD panels to basically put it back to, you know, original or a resto mod. It depends on the car. Each each car comes with a different recipe. So this is what. Uh got my attention and uh, we're going to talk about this in a minute. First, let's uh, figure out if I want anything else because if I spend all my money right now, then I might not have any left. <laughs> that but, sounds uh, great, man. So you got a freaking, that's like a 71 Demon, right? Yeah, that's a 71 340 Demon and GB5 Blue. Um, unfortunately, while we were away from the building, somebody uh, ripped off the 
the drivetrain out of it, that, you know, unfortunately. So that's why she's sitting on stilts. Um, she doesn't have a rear end or K-frame or four speed or anything anymore, unfortunately, because somebody thought they needed it. Well, so, I understand. But, uh, but it would look good with a Hellcat in it right there. That is, a, that's a great Hellcat, isn't so, it? So. I'm getting that new Hell crate. I gotta figure out what to do with that thing. And uh, what do we got here? That's a 70 Coronet RT, uh, U-Code 440 automatic numbers matching car. Um, it was out of Ohio, so it was pretty rough when we got it. And uh, we, we basically put it, put it back together, Humpty Dumpty, put it I back together. It. Um, like this is a Plum Crazy 383 four speed, um, not numbers matching. It was basically a carcass. We got it from a friend of ours, Taylor Hole, about what, four and a half years ago? <laughs> Been a I get it, carcass. It was a carcass. <laughs> that was all that was left of it. Um, we have one Chevy in the house, a convertible Camaro that needs, you know, a little love on that quarter panel back there. You think it needs a little love? A little I mean, bit of love. Dude, you guys are saving some stuff that I would deem unsalvageable. They're never making any more. At well, the end I know. of the day, somebody's got to, I mean, it's pretty much charity work. But at what point do you say it's not savable? There Screw isn't it. a point. Well, in Chevy world, we can, we can, you know, yeah. part it out. But in Mopar world, there's no parked cars, so. This one I saw you cruising around on your Instagram the other day. This is a alligator top. I got boots that look like this. Yeah, Tony will tell you about this one. This yeah, one. this is a this is a this is probably one of my favorite cars that we have. Uh, my first car was actually a '70 Charger, so I'm a little a little partial to them. But uh, that's a factory Gator Grain roof car. It's a 446 pack four speed car, also an SE, so it had leather interior from the factory, uh, which is pretty rocking. It's got a it's got a six way seat on the driver's seat. It's got eight track player. Um, so it's loaded with options. It's also got a 410 Dana with the four speed. So it was a hot rod that also had all the creature comforts. Yeah, but this is a six way seat and it's not electric. It's got all kinds of. <laughs> yeah, it's got. A bunch yeah, of they didn't have no electric back then. <laughs> yep. But being a super track pack, being white, being an alligator top, yeah. RTSE, four speed, six pack. This hood treatment on the. It's pretty much, other than the Hemi, it's pretty much a holy grail. Yeah. And some people would call it a holy grail because a lot of the six packs actually beat the Hemis. Well, we know who would so, call it a holy grail, Dennis Collins. <laughs> but uh, what's something like this worth? I mean, 110, 130? We wouldn't sell it for a dime under 175, but we're not, on this this particular car, we're not uh, really looking, we'd have to find the right buyer. It's just too special of a car. In our collection, we have a large collection, so if this goes to California, it would basically be off the market. Wow. So we only put it up for sale because we wanted to say almost everything was for sale. We only have three cars that aren't for sale, that mod top, that mod top, and that mod top. So obviously you can see we like mod tops. So that car was a black, bl uh, black interior, blue mod top. You what car? Yeah, there's nothing left No, of seriously, it. what car? The one right there. Are you, that, that, that you're thing, calling a car? That thing right there. We're gonna make that new. Again. So let's explain. You're a mod, calling let's that explain, a car. Let's, let's explain, explain a, a mod top. what a mod top is. So it's like a floral pattern. I the remember the floral pattern. pattern. So that, right there. that blue top sitting on that red Cuda is one of them. That's a reproduction one. So that red Cuda and this shell Same. of a black Cuda are are one of the 17 blue mod top Cudas built in 1970. So that car was factory black with a blue roof like that. They only made 17. So I gotta 17 see this. I gotta see this up yeah. close. So the actually on this one, I did some detective work. <laughs> If you, if you can get the camera over here and zoom in on this. So somebody made this car a race car at some point and they posted it up on Mopars with Fat Tires Group. And I saw it on Facebook and uh, the guy goes- Right here, underneath check, here, he'll show you the, over there. You can see this a, right there. Okay, I got you. And that really kind of proves more or less, but this. it's on the fender tag. It's, you know, it's, right it's a mod top on the fender tag. And Tony was looking so at some race for him. Yeah. And he all of a sudden uh, saw this, you know, 340. This is 340, right? 340 yeah, 383. Yep. He sees it up there for sale. And the guy's all, should I make it a race car? Or should I, you know, should we, would somebody restore this? And he posted the fender tag. And he's looking through there and he goes, I, I've never, I don't know what that, that code is. And he goes and looks it up and he's like, holy shit. Gets on the phone and he's like, dude, we got to buy this car. So how many, you said 17 with Se this top? Total. 17 BS like Cuda, Cuda built with a blue mod top in 1970. How many have been found? There's one that exists that's like a known car. There actually, I'm not, that, that's a lie. That black car was known. It's been the registry for a while before what we bought it. What black car? The, the one the that you said was that there. thing over there. Note to editors, every time I say what car, go back to that. <laughs> <laughs> Just go right back to that. So, um, uh, so there's one other one that's a 446 pack car that's known, but it's like in a collection hidden away that hasn't been seen in 30 years. 
So well, then, where's this collection? We need to go bang on their door. Oh, oh, oh yeah, trust to. me. We, 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 we would, would be there to. with. Uh, so, yeah. so we know where it's at. No, no we don't know. Nobody it's, knows where it's at. I, there's one What's picture. There's one picture of it on a car trailer in a warehouse with the cover like half off. And that's all I've ever seen. Of okay, it. So, so if you're paying attention on the little video here, we're looking for a collection of Mopars that has one of these tops on it and it's been hidden away for a long time. Uh, call me, my number's down at the bottom. No, 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 call me, call me, call me, call me. Because then he'll just call us and then we'll have to pay him 10 grand more. <laughs> Jeez, man, is my business model that easy? This is a mod top too. Yeah, I remember this body style having a lot more of the floral pop That top. one's That one's like a uh, yellow and green mod top though yeah. versus this green and blue. So this was a 1970 only thing you could get on a satellite or a CUDA. That was the only two cars you could get this pattern How many on. satellites they made? Like 1,200 they actually made quite We'd a bit. We'd like one of those With too. this top. With that top. And they also oh, had so that, they, they had that pattern in the seats and the door panels. The CUDAs are the really, really rare ones in 1970 that That's had that top. Cool. Yeah. So when we found this, or to, actually Tony found this, when when this was discovered, we, we had to have it. And we, we went out there and got it and checked this out. That's what led us to the Rum Runner. This was, he referred us down the street, and we went down the street, and we bought five cars out of a Horde, and that was one of them. To the Rum Runner race car. And that was so, about, what, four, three years ago? Been, yeah, it's been yeah, a minute. Three years yep, ago? That was in Midland. Hey, Texas. that looks just like that other car. That one, we call that, that that's dubbed regret. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's uh, our, our, our guy, Bailey, got this car for us, and by the time we took it apart, it literally just needed everything, including the roof structure. And one thing we need to save these cars is the roof structure. So when they're like this, this is tough. So this has been sitting for a while, but this is regret. So when you said that there's some that are not savable, this is the only one that we got it apart and we were like, let's move on to another one. So yeah. we, we built one for, a, for a, a rap star and then COVID hit and he bounced on us. And this was the car we were building for him. And when we ran into this, we said, Let's move on to another car. This is a cool story. This actually yeah. came out of Louisville. So okay, there in Dallas. I call this a storage wars car. A lady put this car in Facebook Marketplace as you see it for $3,000. This was two years ago. She got so many messages that she said, she changed the ad to say, here's the address, meet me there tomorrow morning. Whoever offers me the most money at 10, 15 a.m. gets the car. Okay. And so we roll up and there's you know, 15 people there waiting. They're all walking around it. We're, and they're like, she's like, all right, write your number down, put it in this plastic bucket, and that's your offer. And we're going to go through them, and whoever has the highest offer, and that, that's their name, that's who gets the car. Okay. So it's like, it turned into Storage Wars, and we ended up getting it. We're willing we to pay a little home. bit more than the other guy. Yeah. So and we didn't know what anybody was paying. I guarantee you, out of those 15 people, Somebody tried to undercut it. Yeah, like they, 1500. They for 1500. Oh. <laughs> this Fender's 1500. These are on a, this is a 68 Coronet RT, um, 444 speed Dana. They made very few of these cars. The, the numbers matching Trans is in it and the original Dana, and we repaired, repaired the body. The guy that owned this car in like the 80s and 90s literally lives like an hour from here. Oh, no and kidding. so he reached out to us on our, on our page and he got excited about the fact that we were saving it. Hey, you got a bunch of cars here, man. And these are all the good stuff. This is probably the best, rare, rarest one here. This is a EV2, semi orange, no, 70 Roadrunner, uh, super track pack, four speed, air grabber. This is, a, this is an amazing car and actually, all original body panels on this, we just repaired it, right? We didn't do any quarters on this what one. What about this? Or did we do one? That's yeah, factory. no, no, we just passed. What? So we didn't. That's factory? That's factory, yeah. yeah they, 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 yeah. Factory. Same thing here, right here. They okay. just fill it with the, the lead. But this, this is a, uh, they, they didn't make very many of this car at all. What would you say they made? How many? Yeah, maybe a couple, a couple hundred. Yeah. So, you know, Chevy World, they made 30,000 Z28s, right? <laughs> couple hundred. Wow. This is so, a Pro Tour build, so this one's all, you know, like what you would want to do with your motor. All of it's, it's got and then mini tubs. Mini tubbed and all done, you know, ready to go to your painter so that you can build it. This is a rare car, a 444 speed Dana, uh, Coronet RT. That's three numbers matching, 68, 69, 70, all numbers matching chargers. And that, that's Fort Worth car. Wow. And RTs. All of them are RTs, all of them are 440s, and all of them are numbers matching. And to get this color and that color is amazing. I can't hear you, it's raining. We're in Georgia. The, the weather changes by the minute. Wow. This is unbelievable, man. You guys got a lot of, a lot of stuff, and everything's outside. 
Yeah, I know we got to. Uh, I know we got to throw up the drone a minute ago, but I don't know if like I don't know if we're going out there or not. That's yeah. like 30 mile an hour winds. This is rad, purple and white. Yeah, we bought this done. We just you know they don't come up very often. They only made about what 300 of these. So, yeah, very rare. 300, yeah. and it's a 440 automatic. This is the original color, the original interior. It's all done back original, rotisserie restored. The whole underside's um, painted like the top. Yeah, it's so the nickname car. for this one is Barney. Yeah. We haven't named this one. Most of our cars are named, but this one's not named. This one's got a pretty cool uh, patina. Yeah. This one's going to Australia. Really? Yeah, this so one's that's going a, to Australia. It's that's a factory factory silver car, numbers matching. I love the, the dedication of this little piece of chrome. It's just staying. It's just holding it's just on. Staying. I'm just Hanging on for dear on. life. This is real cool. This is one of our favorites. So this yeah. one would be really hard to see let see roll out of here. Well, let's go roll it around in the rain. Nah, we'll pass. <laughs> let's get down to brass tacks on the Rum Runner. Tell me the story, or at least what you know about this. So after we saw the mod top, go around the corner, got the horde of cars. This was in the middle. Literally, we fell in love. Yeah, so I thought it was cool. There's a, they're they're they get the mod top. There's like, oh, this guy's got some Mopars back there, and they drive behind this transmission shop, and there's a VW bus sitting there, split window. And it's got cool patina. And the guy that was there picking up the car was like, oh my God. And so they made a deal on the bus. And it sat there for like over a year before we got it. And this was sitting in that field that whole time. And so I went back to get the bus and uh, was able to make a deal on this. The other one, and it was up on jack stands in the field. I know, just all the little paintings and stuff. Special. We love patina cars. So for us, this is. Special you know, Palacios. Uh, Performance, I don't know. Yeah. But like powered by Bacardi, I mean, you're powered by Miller Lite, right? Yeah. So, well, Rum not Runner. really, but really. But it's really rust free too. <laughs> no, I mean, other than them lightening things up, you know, in order to make it lighter, it's, yeah, it's rust free. It's, I mean, it's, it's a really cool car. Hard to see it leave, but I'm sure you're gonna do some cool shit with it. Well, we hadn't made a deal yet. Well, we're, we're, we're assuming you didn't come all this way for nothing. So it's really pretty rust free and it's just got this. Did the guy tell you anything about the history or the paint or the, do you know anything? So we put it up for sale and a guy who contacted Tony and was acting like he didn't know anything about the car. And then uh, as the conversation went on, uh, the guy told him that he used to own it. So Tony can tell you yeah. a little bit more about. Oh, I got to know. What's and the scoop? He said that he, I think he got it the way you see it. He put a small block in it and a four speed, but he never raced it. And then. He needed a transmission rebuilt and a, he had a small block or something else and he traded like some engine work and a transmission from the guy that we got it from. He traded that stuff for the car. What is the like years numbers ago. breakdown? Anything spectacular it's or just a, regular? It's a uh, it's a big block Cornet 500. So it's not like the base base model, but it's not like it's anything cool crazy. The cool factor yeah. is the paint. Yeah. You know, what they did with the paint and then the years of sitting out in the desert, if and you will. The radius wheel wells are cool too because there's like a, there's an, there's a but factory the 67 out there. We offered it back to the guy at a much reduced price uh -huh. because we figured we'd get it back to the owner Yeah, and he, and he didn't buy it. Well, so they did roll these. Yeah, because the factory wheel well comes to like right here. There's another 67 out front that they can video and you can see that. You can see the, the difference. difference. So you think about the tire you could put under there. You okay. You stick it out two inches, it'll look badass. Now, why do we, it, that looks like a Chevy truck trim to me. No, that's that's Cornet 500 trim. What's this? It's I, it's just faded. It's the same. Yeah, that's a bigger piece. No, yeah, you're right. This, yeah, maybe that the, is a piece that's, of Chevrolet. That's all they could find, so they put that on there. I think that's Chevrolet. Hey, truck. It's a race car. They do what they got to do. <laughs> we just thought it was cool from a, uh, you know, Rum Runner was, powered by Bacardi. Second. Did he give you any indication as to what was up with the tree and the owl up here? Because I remember growing up, the guy that actually, you know, did the work and made it, or what kind of, I mean, you put it up on your page and on, you know, your YouTube, you're, we're going to find out about this. Somebody's going to come forward and tell us what happened here. You know, in the seventies, especially the early seventies, the owl, you know, they had macrame, macrame owls. They had pictures of owls. Owls were everywhere. I had them in my house and I never understood why. Um, but then it, that faded away and they're gone now. All right, so this is super cool. You want 8,500 bucks for it as you advertise it. Right. It's just kind of a shell. 
It's kind of like art. I don't know if I'd put it back on the road or not. No, but you know how the Mona Lisa is very valuable. This is the Mona Lisa of Mopar. <laughs> what does it say? It's like it says something underneath. The top, the top says performance it's the same, center. It's the same thing in the, performance in the back. Performance center, okay. Yeah, performance center. All right, so how about five grand? And all the free beer I can drink. We'll give you all the beer you want. Okay, we're, uh, we're moving in the right direction. We want to be negotiable in the sense and we want people to know that we're negotiable because we really do want to find homes for these cars. Oh, um, you're, it's like the little kitten and dog commercial. No, we for do, only $15 a month. We don't want to transport them all the way from here all the way to California <laughs> if we can find some people that are willing to to, uh, to take them on and save them. I like you know, this. we're all about saving cars. I like this as just something cool for the shop. I mean, I'd have to put some pretty bitchin' wheel and tire combo on it so it sits right. And, you know, just have it maybe in one of my restaurants or something like that. Um, so I'm buying it as art. So how now about, we're down how, to five grand. How about 7,500? Come on, man. I flew out here. I had to take an Uber, which was very scary. <laughs> How about six? We had an offer at 10. We want you to have it. I'll do 7,000, but you have to do something cool with it. Well, I just told you what I was gonna do it. I'm gonna take it to Gas Monkey. That's, that's, fucking, that's cool fucking cool right cool. there. But you gotta, it's gotta, it's gotta see the world. People have to see this car. So seven grand and it's yours. Well, I got 10 right here, so I have to count three off, but we got a deal. Thank seven you. grand. The Rum Runner's coming to Texas. Hell yeah. Cool, man. I want to go out and look at everything outside, but outside's not cooperating right no. now. No. No. All right. Well, I guess we'll go drink some beer for a minute. So we got the Rum Runner bought. And uh, in a minute, I'm going to show you how the motor sounds. Woo! All right, so I got myself a rum runner. I just think it's cool. I, I like it the same way you guys like it, because it's just, you're not gonna find another one. Yep, it tells but a I, story. I saw a couple of things that uh, I wouldn't mind uh, getting, but you need all these parts. You've got to rebuild these cars. No, these parts are all for sale. Everything you see here is available for purchase. Um, we're trying to lighten the load as much as we can and help people restore their cars where we're at. What about that car? Nah, that's this one, that one, and that one are not for sale. That's not a car. There's only three <laughs> we will not sell as the Mod Top cars. So, because I have my restaurants and my bars and stuff, I'm always looking for cool stuff for the wall. So I really, this door caught my eye. This orange door skin. How about the matching fender too? Where? Right over here. That's on our wall at uh, at our shop. It had charger on the on the uh, on the quarter. And this is our bangle, we call it our bangle charger, and it's now a Pro Tour, it's fully built. We actually have it as wall art as well. If you would like one of those uh, door skins, we, we, we'll, we'll give it to you. Okay, let's put that inside the Rum Runner. I don't okay. think the fender works as well for me because it sticks out so far. You'd have to, to cut it, it. You, you could cut, have to cut, cut it down. You would just half. cut right here, all the way down, and then you can put that with the door. We'll give you both, we'll put uh, both in there. Okay, deal? I'm down. All right. That is a good deal, sir. You drive a hard bargain. Like, that's, that's a cool door, side. too. So we're gonna that's put, a cool door there, we'll too. We'll put the other one with our, because we have a quarter panel, this. Well, that's a better fender. Skin. I want that one. No, uh, I'm you can have these. Ah, ah, I'm falling. We've been doing that all week. God almighty. That almost so. took me down. I try to build my places, like my music venues and my restaurants, my bars, and even, you know, the place at the shop where it's not so kitschy car that everybody's like, oh my God, you know, but it's a little attitude and a little style, a little, little story, you that's know, like this are. came from X, you know, that's type thing. Okay, so the next thing is gonna hurt and I'm probably not gonna get it. Not sure what I want? I, I already know what you're gonna. What is it? I don't know, there's a reason you're standing by that car. No, I went to Calcutta Drive. Oh, <laughs> you know what? Um, that actually came from Turlock, California. We have about 30 of them. What? Not Calcutta, but all the little, you know, But those are, that's real stuff. porcelain. But that's real porcelain, and it's from uh, uh, Turlock, California, was, the, you know, the signs. And we brought it here. We had it in the office here since we started. Yeah. But since you came, made the trip, you bought our car, you gave us our number, 
we'd like you to take that too. Kick ass, man. <laughs> Golly, I feel like I can just keep asking for stuff. No, but that's about it. We're gonna give you a jacket. We're gonna give you a jacket, though. Are we done you, now? You and your, you and your, uh, your crew each have a jacket here. We brought in for you because we want you to know how much we appreciate you coming out to, to nah, see us and, and uh, um, we just appreciate it. Nah, what's really cool is you know you guys really are going above and beyond to save, um, which most shops just want to build. They just want to make a car, make some money, right. and what have you. And you're really going above and beyond to research the numbers, save the cars from being destroyed or crushed or, you know, just wasting away. Right. You know, uh, I know I joke about this not being a car, but, you know, when you break down the numbers and everything, that's, that's a rare bird, so to speak. Between Tony finding it, us financing it, obviously, and Brandon, wherever he's at, and his skills, building it we can make that uh, you know live again and that's at the end of the awesome. day that's what we're about the money's fine but at the end of the day they're they're never making any more and we got to save what we have left yeah and you're not saving new cars no everything they're pumping we don't even right have any new cars money. we have new trucks to, to to pull our old cars yeah but i'm just saying the stuff that they're making nowadays they don't make stuff like no. this anymore the stuff nowadays is total throwaway. The metal is so thin, you can literally punch it with your finger and poke a hole in it. And, uh, you know, we're fortunate enough to be alive in a, in a time when this stuff is being saved. And I hate to say it, I hope it never happens, but probably another couple of generations and nobody's gonna give a shit, you know? There's people that say that, but there's also other countries all around the world never had these cars to begin with and they're fanatics about these cars so at the end of the day these may live longer than like the 30s 40s and 50s cars because they're a little bit more practical the styling in our in our opinion is a little bit better um and i mean all my team you know 26 21 almost 30 you know me and him are the old guys of the group and him brandon's 24 so all of them are young and they're they're, they're passionate about these cars. They're, they're, we, we search every day, every, all of our team, Nico, myself, Tony, our, our, uh, our guy, Dan, at, at, back in uh, California, we search every day and we look for these cars. And the ones that really get us going are the ones that they only made two, three, four, five of, or like the Mod Tops, they made 17 Cudas that were Mod Tops. In and there's two of them here. And three two of them are here. And we have, to, you know, we have to be the caretaker that's gonna put this back together, otherwise, it's just gonna, it would have just disappeared. Yeah. You know? Well, I so, dig it. You know, I'm finally a member of the Wing Car Society. So you're a Mopar yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've always been, I've had some Mopars, but I've No, I know, but you're getting a little bit more into the Mopars, seems uh, recently. Between, I dig Dal it. between Dalton and us and, you know, and, and all the stuff that you're finding out there and the leads that you're getting, it's, it's really cool to see. Because yeah. we need that. The, the cars don't, they, they need that in order to live on. They need people to basically, even Kevin Hart, you know, people like that, they, they need to bring these cars yep. to to everybody, so. Yeah, yeah, so public service announcement. These old cars just were up for <laughs> your mom getting banged in when you were a little baby. These are to be saved and cherished for the rest of uh, all of humanity. At least my life. Yeah, right? Yeah. He was born in the back of a Mopar. <laughs> I think it was more like a Volkswagen bug. Kick ass, but... guys. Can we go back to drinking now? Thank you, brother. Yeah. We ain't going outside. Yeah. Appreciate it. Woo! Hey, beers on y'all. So it's going freaking crazy weather out there. We can't get outside. Tornado warnings. But I got the Rum Runner bought. I got a really cool door and a really cool fender and a, and a street sign. You know, just good wall art. And uh, now we're going to chill out, drink some beer. Hopefully, we can come back when the rain stops. But uh, if not, Mopar's 5150. They're getting rid of everything. They got to move. And there's some seriously cool history here. Make sure you get a piece of it. Woo! What they call here at the check stop uh, fried cheese. You're used to it in little sticks. And this is like a pound of freaking mozzarella. And I think, yeah, there's some ham in there too. It's pretty daggum tasty, but I don't think I'll be eating it all. Thoughts? It's good. That's enough to serve like a small village, which we happen to be in. So that's it for our trip out here to uh, Georgia. We're fixed to head back to the ATL, as they say it. Get on a plane and get back to Dallas in time to have some cold beers because it is Friday afternoon. But uh, we got one car bought. 
got a couple of cool pieces of art for the restaurants and uh, uh, the gift store. So, uh, you know, good time. The rain kind of squeezed us on not being able to really get outside and look at the stuff out back. But from what I could tell, it was a little rougher than what we would normally buy. But the guys at Mopar's 5150 are doing some cool stuff. They're saving a lot of cars that might not have ever been saved, uh, and they're moving. So Mopar's 5150.com, go check them out. Uh, they got a lot of stuff for sale, and they don't want to have to move it. Now I want to move it because I need a cold beer. Where are they? Oh, this town is dry? That sucks. Yeah, well, I got I got three. <laughs> Somehow I got three. Is that your morning ritual? Well, go to a German town that doesn't serve beer. Have you ever even heard of something like that? It's crazy. But we brought our own. You can tell I did it because I didn't spell pregnant right.